are back. This is your humble host, Emiko, at the show 2019. And I'm really excited because this is a man that I've been missing off and on. He was not able to be with us last year. We're so glad that you're here this year. Hugh, the owner and chief designer for Angel City Audio. It's all, it's all the creativity that you have in your speakers are phenomenal. Thank you so much for being Thank here Thank you, Emiko. It's uh, our pleasure to be here. Wow. Finally, pleased and honored to be here. Well, we're honored to have you. We really, your room is fantastic. Thank you. How did you start and what gives your, because you design your speakers, yes. you make them. So what what is that welcoming, warm feeling that I'm getting from them? When I hear the music on your speakers, it's different than a lot of other ones that I'm hearing. To be perfectly honest, our Seraphim speakers were not designed by me. Okay. It was designed by a friend of me located in Colorado. Okay. However, we helped to voice so to speak, to voice the speakers uh, by voicing, I mean, to make the sound not really bright, mm -hmm. or should I say, in your face. It's not harsh. Exactly. That's what I got. It's exactly. not harsh. Not harsh. It's not overpowering. Exactly. On the other hand, it could become so laid back, so lazy, and we don't want that. We want somewhere in the middle where everybody can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. There's no other speakers like us. You can either go... Uh, low quality or high quality, but very expensive. Right. I don't want to name any name, but you can spend a lot of money mm -hmm. for that. And that's the reason why we came out with our own speakers. How many years have you been engineering and designing, co-designing, giving voice to the lab figures? Uh, uh, well, uh, thinking back, I think we started out back in 2009. That's when we started with uh, Melody. This is your 10 year. Ten, ten year ten anniversary, so to speak. Exactly. Wow, fantastic. Uh, but being a speaker manufacturer, probably about five to six years. What do you think the hardest thing is about manufacturing your own speakers? The hardest thing is, um, is what do we need to do to reach a certain market segment? Mm -hmm. Are we going mass market, but low quality? Uh, the middle of the road, which is where we are, uh, we go all the way up, which most people will not be able to afford it. However, as far as I'm concerned, I believe that we reach the top without the top money. Right. Because we don't advertise. Mm -hmm. If we did advertise, it means our end customers will pay for that. Right. Somebody got to pay somewhere. Sure. Yeah. So we don't advertise. On the other hand, we'd rather spend money to go to the show, mm. such as the show, where our customers can come and see and feel and touch and listen to our products, and they can make their own decision without any bias uh, pressure. reports. Yeah, pressure, yeah, and, and remorse, of course. Right. other people. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think we achieved that. What I think I love about you guys, one of the things that I love is that you are really living the the saying that I like, which is it, you can be high end without being high price. Exactly. And high end means high quality. It doesn't always mean price tag. Exactly. Which I think is wonderful. And the fact that these speakers are so unique. What's some of the best feedback that you've gotten at the show this year? The feedback is uh, basically the most people uh, would say that this is this is great. This is one of the things that I will consider mm -hmm. for purchase in the near future. I said, that, that, that's fine, you don't, you don't need to buy anything from us. All we want to see and hear from you is whether or not we achieve our goal of um, so-called, let's say, music mm -hmm. lovers. Right. You love the music from our room. Right. That's good enough for us. You're local to Southern California, aren't you? Yes, I personally am. I am located in Rancho Cucamonga, which oh. is... Uh, north of Ontario, California. Right. And so if people want to book an appointment with you, do they go to your website? Do they? Yes, they go the to my website, either drop, me, ex com, exactly. right? either drop me an email or even call me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a one man band. I don't hire people to <laughs> waste money. So people call me, I said, no problem. When you want to come, they come. Well, that's great. They get the personal, the true personal service from you, right? Exactly. You, and that's yes, something yes. that's so important. Yes. Yes. A lot of our viewers are younger and they're people that I think the feedback that we've gotten is that some folks feel that high-end audio has been a very exclusive market. So they've been afraid to 
proclaim that they're an audiophile feeling like maybe they're not audiophile enough or they're not educated enough. What type of advice or encouragement would you have for our viewers? I think I'm going to be against the wave a little bit here. Yes, it was so-called exclusive group. We are audiophile. What is audiophile? I don't call myself audiophile. I call myself music lover. Let the music come to me. While audiophile, what does it mean? Really? And I'm against title. Okay. You know, just music lover. And I got quite a few young, a little younger, a little older, come to my office, listen to music. I said, just come. You know, you're more than welcome to come listen to music. You don't have to buy anything. You know, later on, if you can come up with some money, you say, hey, maybe it's time for me to get that. Give me a call. Right. But my number one priority is, are you happy with what you're listening to? Mm -hmm. That's all. I'm not into technical aspect or anything at all. Right. Let the music come to you. You don't have to sit there and try to critically listen to music. Mm -hmm. That's not enjoyment. Right. To me, you got to be able to enjoy music. Right. That's it. What's your favorite thing? What's your favorite music to listen to on your speakers? That's a hard question to answer because different people, different tastes. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, any good music that I can enjoy, I love to listen to them. All it's, genres. Exactly. It doesn't matter whether country, hip hop, rap, classical, you name it. As long as it's good. Right. By good, I mean to my taste. Right. Uh, it may not be good for everybody. Just like speakers. We, we've got tons of speakers. Right. What is the right speakers for you? Right. That's it. Understood. Yeah. Wow. Hugh. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for you. being here. Mm -hmm. From the mouth of a true music lover, that is absolutely wonderful. Thank Go you. check him out. AngelCityAudio.com is his website. Drop him a line. You will get the most incredible personal service. And ask questions for Hugh. He's very knowledgeable, very encouraging, very inspiring. You will learn a lot, and your love of music will grow. So until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for more interviews, behind the scenes footage, seminars, all sorts of crazy wacky antics with us here at the show. Hit that subscribe button wherever you are. Thumbs up it. And uh, thank you. We'll see you next time.